Or two in 2017 I will tell you why in this video let me know what you think in the comments down below and don't forget to hit that like button so yeah it has been more than two years since we saw the first Shadow of Mordor game it was great got great reviews and even game of the year awards this was a huge success for developer monolith production that previously made Guardians of Middle-earth that was a MOBA that flopped and of course fear back in the day so yeah they want to make a sequel for Shadow of Mordor a lot of people want it and they already got the engine there are many reasons why I think that we will see this game in 2017 another reason is 3D artist Sky Kensock from Monolith Productions that says that he's still working with the Shadow of Mordor team. Ah, that says something to me. Okay, he could just forgot to update his page or maybe this wasn't needed because he's still working on the Shadow of Mordor game, but then the sequel. On other LinkedIn pages from employees working at Monolith Productions, it simply says unannounced game. What's interesting is that it looks like the game went in full production at around August 2015. We got a lot of people that started working at Monolith Productions around that time and also some that came in at the beginning of 2016. We can be sure that the game is at least one and a half years in development. Interesting since Monolith Productions is pretty fast looking at their previous games. For reference the time between Guardians of Middle-earth and Middle-earth Shadow of Mordor was two years. And Shadow of Mordor 2 is also a sequel to a game that they already have the engine for. It was running on PS4 and Xbox One already, so I totally think that we will see this game sooner rather than later. They're also hiring a product manager right now to quote, help divine market and maintain Monolith's games. Uh, what games? Right now they have nothing announced. I wouldn't be surprised if that changes fast. They got a huge team according to LinkedIn more than 200 people are working on a game at Monolith Productions and that's a lot. Maybe they're working on two games? Well I don't think so because six months ago Monolith Productions posted a post on LinkedIn saying quote are you a senior sound designer and want to work on our upcoming AAA title end quote it says nothing about titles, just titles. So yeah, I think it's a pretty safe bet that this is Shadow of Mordor 2. And then working with 200 people on this game, yeah, that's a lot. Rumors are circling around that there is also a new Batman game coming as well from the creators of Batman Arkham Origins. According to Kotaku, they first wanted to make a Suicide Squad game, but that one was cancelled because it wasn't fun. So now they're making a new Batman game with a Nemesis system. At least according to Kotaku's Jason Schreider that broke many news stories before like almost every Assassin's Creed game was leaked because of him recently the uh, No Man's Sky delay and also the skill bound cancellation was on his name anyway he tweeted this about a new Batman game at Warner Bros Montreal so Damien Wayne nemesis system and trailer that ends on penguin of course if it's true he says take it with a grain of salt totally believe him um, but uh, yeah, I trust this guy with his sources. Anyway, this shows me that Warner thinks that the Nemesis system is so important to port it over to other games. And this shows to me that Warner thinks that the Shadow of Mordor franchise is really important. In Shadow of Mordor we kind of saw the influences from Assassin's Creed in terms of climbing, but also the influences from the Batman games, like the fighting and the combos. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was now the other way around, that we will now see a Shadow of Mordor feature in a Batman game. Interesting stuff indeed. So I think we got a clear picture of the upcoming Warner Bros games lineup. Let's run it down. You see them now on the screen, all the studios that Warner Bros owns. Monolith Productions, I will get back to that one. NetherRealms Studios, they are now finishing off Injustice 2, will release soon. Rocksteady Studios, of course, responsible for the yeah huge Batman game, Batman Arkham Knight, was their last game. So they're probably still making a new game, but they're probably not ready yet. They also previously released, of course, the Batman Arkham VR game. So yeah, they got their hands full. They have been working on many, many games. They're now going to focus on their new AAA experience. TD Games, Known for the many many Lego games, working on Lego Worlds right now, Dimensions and also Lego City Undercover, the port, 
Turbine is making some smaller games like a Game of Thrones game. Then we got Warner Bros. Montreal, which is an interesting one. I uh, will get back to that one as well. And Warner Bros. Games San Francisco. And they're also working on mobile games in the DC franchise and stuff like that. So, that leaves us with Warner Bros. Montreal and the rumored Batman game and Monolith Productions and probably Shadow of Mordor 2. After the second quarter of 2017, all Warner Bros. games are out, all the big ones at least, not the mobile ones, I don't count those. And Monolith and Warner Montreal are next. We will probably see them both at E3 2017. I mean, both Warner Bros. Montreal and Monolith Productions have released their last game in 2014. So now, three years later, it's time to announce something new. And Warner Bros. also needs something. So I think it's a safe bet that we will see Shadow of Mortar 2 in 2017 and even this new Batman game. I mean, I will make a separate video about that. Let's get back to Shadow of Mordor 2. I haven't even talked about the March 2016 league yet. Something you probably already know. Shadow of Mordor 2 appeared on a stunt person's CV and it was later removed. Oops. Also, Shadow of Mordor got a PS4 Pro patch recently. And if you look at all the games that got PS4 Pro support, they're either pretty recent or from a Sony first party studio. So that means that Sony just wants them to support their new console. Makes a lot of sense. But for Warner Bros, there was really no reason to update this more than two year old game for the new hardware. Unless they want people to talk about the game again. And that certainly worked. So when will it come out, Shadow of Mordor 2? Maybe 2017? I personally don't think so. With them getting into full productions in the second half of 2015, I think an early 2018 March or April May is more likely. I think they will go for the same announcement till release cycle like they did with the original Shadow of Mordor game. That game was announced in November 2013 and was released in September 2014. So announce it at E3 2017 Shadow of Mordor 2 at the PlayStation or maybe the Microsoft press conference and then released in April. Sounds like a great plan to me. So, to recap, Shadow of Mortar was huge for Monolith Productions and Warner Bros. So, I think it's a safe bet that we will see a new one announced in 2017. Someone from Monolith has on its LinkedIn page that is working with the Shadow of Mortar team. There are rumors that Warner is looking at making a new Batman game with the Nemesis system. Shadow of Mortar 2 appeared on a stunt person CV. It's only got pro support. So, why a 2017 announcement? Well, it's time for Monolith Productions to show a new game. Their last one was in 2014. And Warner Bros. needs a new game. And the other studios, they are ramping up development or simply are not ready to release something yet.